Hi Pine Class, it is Thursday morning and in our English lessons this week we've been focusing on correcting the mistakes um, in sentences and we've looked at trying to find spelling mistakes and punctuation mistakes. Now the next stage is going to be to actually improve sentences. So not necessarily sentences that have mistakes in but sentences that are a little bit dull that we could improve to up-level to make them more interesting for the reader. Now we've done a similar exercise to what we're going to be doing today earlier in lockdown, but since we've done lots of great work on our English and grammar skills, I'd like to have another go at the exercise with a different picture to see if we have improved. So I'm going to show you an example now on my board and then you're going to be having a go at a different picture. So, as you can see on my board, I have got a, a picture in the top right hand corner that I've expertly drawn um, of a road running past a field um, quite early in the morning. The sun's just coming up. <clears throat> and the sentence that I originally produced to describe this picture was, the road ran past a field. Now I decided that was so, so dull, it was far too boring, I needed to up-level it. And the first thing I did was to have a look again at the picture and come up with some really exciting adjectives to describe the road and the field. And you can see in my box in the top left-hand corner, these are the adjectives that I came up with. I came up with long, lonely, deserted, lush, green, vibrant, straight and luscious. And I'm going to try and use some of those adjectives in order to help me improve my really boring sentence. And I've done this in three stages. So if you look at number one, the first thing I've done is to add an expanded noun phrase by selecting some of the adjectives that I've come up with. So instead of just saying, the road ran past a field, I've changed that to the long, lonely road ran past a luscious green field. So I've now added an expanded noun phrase to describe both the road and the field. And if you remember, like last time, the best thing to do is to choose two adjectives to describe your noun, and you must remember, as I've done, to put a comma between them. So you can see I've got a comma between long and lonely and a comma between luscious and green. Now the next stage is also to add a fronted adverbial. And I've chosen to use a fronted adverbial that is going to tell me a little bit more about the time. So the fronted adverbial I've chosen to add is early one morning. And again, I've remembered to use a comma after my fronted adverbial. So now my sentence reads, early one morning, the long, lonely road ran past a luscious green field. Already it's sounding so much better and so much more exciting. And the final stage was to add a subordinating conjunction in order to give a little bit more information about this road. So when I read this final version of the sentence, you will see that I've got a fronted adverbial, I've got expanded noun phrases, and I've added a subordinating conjunction. So here is my final version of the sentence. Early one morning, the long, lonely road ran past a luscious green field until it came to a river. Now I think you'll agree that that sentence is a million times better than the really boring the road ran past a field. And by using my expanded noun phrases, my fronted adverbials and my subordinating conjunctions, I've made the sentence much more exciting for a reader and hopefully I've created a picture in their head of what this scene looks like. Now you are going to get a different picture. You're actually going to get a picture of a pastry chef with a very tasty looking cupcake. And I'm going to ask you to try and do the same thing that I've done 
and to improve a boring sentence by adding expanded noun phrases, fronted adverbials and subordinating conjunctions. Good luck and I hope to share some of the most incredible up-leveled sentences with the rest of the class.